Hey, 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 my pretty ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know who I am, I am Silky. And if you do know who I am, thank you for tuning back in. Thank you for subscribing. Okay. If you did subscribe in the past, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you did not, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that good on notification bell. So anytime that I do a new upload, you'll be the first person to know. Now this video today is on the Desert Dream Palettes by LA Girl. They have two of them here. Um, this one is Main Stage and this one is VIP. And I also picked up the Pastel Dream Liners. These are really great. I like them too. Um, if you guys really want to see how I came up with this look and other things that I have in this video that are new that you should want to stay here and see, just keep on watching. Without further ado, bye. Alright my pretties, you already know why we're here. We're here with a few palettes by LA girl this is like the dream collection right here we have we have the liners and also a couple of palettes they have one more palette but these were the only ones I could get my hands on so this is the main focus of the video today <clears throat> we're just gonna go ahead and go in and play with these I'm a little bunny ears Easter yes happy Easter to everyone hopefully I have it uploaded on Easter day which is Sunday so this is the first palette is the LA Girl Desert Dream Palette. Each palette has 16 shadows. This is the back. This is the inside. It does come with a mirror, which is always a great thing. These are the shadows close up. This one is LA Girl Main Stage Desert Dream Eyeshadow Palette. That's this one right here. Then we have this one, which is the LA Girl VIP Desert Dream Eyeshadow Palette. This one's in pink. This is the front of the palette. This is the back. This one also comes with a mirror. This is the inside of this one also 16 shadows in this one also this one's more like a neutral palette we're just gonna go ahead and play with these today oh so the names are like on the film I also went out and grabbed the pro professional super setter uh, long lasting setting spray I grabbed that and I already have their primer so we're gonna go ahead and use these today so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in we're gonna get started on this eyeshadow look all right, that is close enough for me. I hope it is for you guys. I hope you can see everything I'm doing. First things first, I want to go on with our rumor base zero. This one right here. I want to place that all over the lid. Hope you guys like my nails. Aren't they cute? Look at my nails. These are really cute, right? Press on. I had already did my brows off of camera. I went in with my Morphe chocolate mousse pencil. And to blend that I'm going to go in with my M173 brush, the same brush I cleaned my brows up with. Well, buffed out my brows. Okay, now we're just going to blend those edges all together so it doesn't have a harsh line. Okay, now going into the palette, the first color I'm going to go into is with this color right here. I believe is D2. I'm going to use my E17 brush. She looks like this. I'm just going to use the mirror from this palette. She does have kickback. This is how the color looks on the brush. I'm going to shake it off. That's a lot of product, yeah. So be careful with these colors. Make sure your base is nice and flat before you get started. I'm going to place that color back here. above my crease though but right back here oh it changes colors okay it gets darker when you put it down but it is pigmented I'm not even swiping in the pan I'm just dabbing in it so it is a pigmented color keep it kind of tight 
and bring that color over. Soften up the edges. It is a nice color. It does blend very well. It's a pretty, pretty color. I'll tell you that. I'm going to go in with my M506 brush, one of my favorite brushes. Here, I'm going to go into this color right here, which is Sunshine. I'm going to put that right next to it in the inner corner. So you're going to pack it on. Take your time with it. You don't want to make it pack it on too fast. It makes it patchy. Soften up those edges. Again, there is some fallout, but I don't mind that. Go, I want to go back into that E17 brush. Go back into D2 and put that color back down. This time you want to kind of overlap the color so that they look blended. I feel like I lost this color a little bit, so I'm just going back in with it. And bring it up to the brow a little bit. Go back into your M506 brush, go back into Sunshine. Place that color back down also. Lift that brow, get that color in there. Okay, now we have those two colors laid down. As you can see, they're blended well together. If you feel like it's not, you can always go back in with your colors and overlap them a little more. All right, now that we have all that down, we're gonna go back into our Rumor Zero Base. I'm gonna take my M224 brush that I concealed my brows with and put it in that base. We're gonna go ahead and do a half cut crease. And it's gonna be about like there. I'm just gonna push the rest into the skin. Now I'm going to go back in with my M173 brush to flatten this out and to get rid of the harsh lines on the side. I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is dollar sign. I'm going to use my M124 brush. Going back into my M506 brush, I'm going to go into this color right here which is flex this purple color and I put that right on the outer corner put that right on the outer corner oh yeah that's a pretty color they blend so good together guys like these are some pretty pretty colors Going back in with my M506 brush, I'm going to go into this color right here, which is Sky High, and put that right next to that purple. Make sure your base is flat. Alright, go back in with your M173 brush and flatten out the beginning of your P. Louise base. Now I want to go in with my M166 brush. I want to go into Money Sign, this cash right here, and put that on the inner part of my eye. Oh, that's a pretty color. I'm gonna tap it off because I don't want it to um, lay down too much at one time. Ooh. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, yeah. I'm happy I got these little palettes. It really doesn't take much with these colors. They come up so pretty, and you just like, you don't even have to 
swirl in the product you just press into it and the color it comes up okay overlap it now go back into high sky with your m506 brush and lay that color right back down kind of got lost and overlap them I'm gonna use my E17 brush and I'm gonna go into this darker purple which is Ferris wheel this color right here and put that on my outer corner because the other color I feel like didn't show up good enough for me so let's just see this is what it looks like it's a really pretty purple color let's set that color right in there and blend it I'm just gonna blend that purple with that other color all right my ladies and gentlemen I went ahead and I did my skin off of camera this is how it's looking okay now we're gonna go ahead and get into this under eye um, I don't know I'm feeling like the blue or maybe the yellow more so leaning towards the blue one or maybe the purple I'm gonna go back into main stage and I'm gonna go ahead and go into this color right here which is flex I'm gonna put that under my lower lash line I'm gonna use my M124 brush. Be careful, it has a lot of fallout. Okay, we have that color laid down. We're gonna go back into VIP and we're gonna go into. And I'm going to go into sunshine just to blend the edges of that color out. For that, I'm going to use my M506 brush. I'm just going to put some on the brush and then knock it off. And just go ahead and just blend the edges of that really close. It's just to make sure it doesn't look too harsh. Just like, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and go on with our matte matte black eyeliner and we're going to do a liner at the top of this. We're going to do a wing liner today guys. Okay now we got that eyeliner on. I want to go ahead and go on with my man eater mascara, put it on my top lashes and my bottoms. I have these six pastel dream eyeliners they are from LA girl I'm gonna go ahead and go in with one of these I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this sky blue one it doesn't say the name of it so we're gonna go ahead and go in with this or put that in the waterline Now we're going to go ahead and go on our lashes. This is Beats by Deb Lashes. You can get your lashes at Beats by Deb Cosmetics. I'm going to go ahead and go on with these top ones right here, which is Fly Away. Let's go ahead and pop these lashes on. Okay, those are with the lashes. We're gonna go back into main stage. And I wanna go ahead and go into stuff over right here. I wanna put that in my inner corner. I'm using my M421 brush. That is that. 
let's go ahead and get something on these lips I'm gonna go on with the lip gloss Naomi this is uh, the Vanessa collection with Juvia's Place and then I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna go in with Cola lip liner Now I'm going to go ahead and go on with the lip gloss in the middle first and then around it. Last but not least, we're going to go in with the, the Pore Professional Super Setter Spray. This is it right here. This is how she looks. She has double lids good I'm just gonna give it a shake let's see Ooh, it's, pretty, it's like you hold it that spray is so pretty so beautifully and it smells really really good too like that smells good I like the way it's sprayed that spray pump on there is amazing it's beautiful this is the finished look All right, my pretty ladies and gentlemen, my final thoughts on these um, liners. They're really, really pretty. They're very pigmented. I say go out and get these. They're nice. My thoughts on the two Desert Dream palettes. They're really nice palettes. The only issue I had was with the purples. Otherwise, every other color came out pretty fine. There weren't um that bad it was you know it came out pretty good they are a little ashy but you can work with these colors they work well together they blend so well together like most palettes don't the colors don't blend well together but these do so i highly recommend if you like um yellows pinks and maybe like a green color i say go get them for that they're really good for that purpose um otherwise i really like the collection is really nice I couldn't get my hands on one palette which I really didn't need anyway but I hope you guys really like this look I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again happy Easter hope you guys eat well I hope you get your eggs and all that good jazz I just want to say thank you and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did love it all right bye